Russian missiles bombard cities across Ukraine, hitting power and water infrastructure. Russia launched a barrage of missile strikes at Ukrainian cities on Monday as it ramped up its attacks on infrastructure facilities across the country. Explosions and air raid sirens were heard in Kiev early on Monday and 80% of residents were left without water, with many losing electricity, too, following power outages caused by Russian strikes, the capital's mayor, Vitaly Klitschko, said on Telegram. One of the strikes hit an energy facility that powered 350,000 apartments in the capital, Klitschko said, adding that emergency services were attempting to restore power and stabilize the situation as soon as possible. Attacks on critical infrastructure in the central regions of Cherkasy and Kirovorod, the eastern region of Kharkiv, and the southern region of Zaporizhia were also reported. Russian President Vladimir Putin said Monday that the onslaught was partly a response to an attack on Russia's fleet in the Crimean city of Sevastopol on Saturday, which he blamed on Kiev. Russia illegally annexed the Ukrainian peninsula in 2014 and has controlled the territory since then. Putin also warned that the strikes are not all we could do. The Ukrainian military said it had eliminated about 90% of the Russian missiles used in the attacks. The enemy attacked military and civilian infrastructure facilities with 55 aircraft guided missiles, 45 of which were shot down by our defenders, the military's general staff said. By Monday afternoon, power was still partially out for many, though it had been restored to some. Power engineers planned to stabilize the situation with the electricity supply at about 9 to 10 p.m. Klitschko said on Telegram, adding, but even after the resumption of electricity supply, power cuts will still be applied. Because the situation is difficult. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba said that diplomats are in constant contact with their partners to try to get assistance and equipment to repair the extensive damage. Kiev is in touch with the European Union and NATO as well as several governments. It had already concluded agreements in 12 countries to obtain nearly 1,000 units of power equipment, including generators, according to Kuleba. We continue to work on increasing the number of partners and the volume of support, he added. Earlier, Klitschko urged residents of the capital to stock up on water from shops and pumping stations after an attack on a nearby power facility. Currently, due to damage to the energy facility near Kiev, 80% of the capital's consumers remain without water supply, he said on Telegram.